Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu and this is entry number eight of the Tenacious Tenements competition. And this one has been sent in by Mike Jevons. Jeff has broken down. Whoever or whatever Jeff is, it's broken down. Okay, so let's have a look. The giggly one. Right. So there's a reminder of the scenario. We've got an award. It doesn't say that the, it's been completed. Um, that's okay though. I mean, there's no rule that says it has to be. Okay, so we've got a couple of kiosks there, and we've got a wild mouse, the mousy one. Good stats on this one. Cool. This particular bend, the, the downward bend, I always forget that those exist with those. Um, I'm so used to building the other types of, of uh, mouse coasters. And we've got a vertical drop here, the droppy one. So I'm, I'm guessing there's a theme. Um, unfortunately, I think there's probably, I'm going to assume that there's odd one out. And I think we've already had a spoiler as to what the odd one out is. Um, I'm assuming that's Jeff. Um, so we've got a vertical drop here. Cool. And then what have we got? There was one over here, wasn't it? So we've got a, a twister. The loopy one. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a theme. Um, so look, oh, we've got we've got boosters. Okay, so it comes out, drops down, boost corner, boost into what's on the melman, some corkscrews, um, dive loop. Is that what you'd call it? And then we've got twists and turns, a barrel roll, and back. How many inversions on that? Six. Cool. Let me check the stats on that one. And then we've got a wooden one. I'm going to hazard a guess. The wooden one. There is the wooden one. Okay. There's definitely a theme. Okay. Let's let's see if we can guess all of them then. Um, Only the one train on this one. There is a block break, so I'm going to assume they, they tried it and um, for whatever reason it didn't. Didn't work out. A little bit of track there. It looks a bit, a bit weird. Sort of slanting. And then, so what's this? This is a flying coaster. So is this the flying one? It is. <laughs> Got you sussed. Um, the giggly one, that, that's a spoiler. There's that weird, um, so that's a, a known bug from RCT2, which obviously classic is a conversion of, a port of. Um, and it was simply the fact that Although the, the, it doesn't look like there's a track piece there, that is. It's just that that sprite was never drawn. So it always comes up as being invisible. Good stats. Um, one thing I'm noticing so far is that the coasters, um, some of the ones, let's see this, how, how can I say this? without sounding horrible. Some of the ones I've in the parks I've seen so far, I think maybe the, some of the courses have got too many trains. Whereas with this one, I think one is probably fine for most of them. Um, and then, so this one then, um, the launched one, I'm gonna guess, the tall one, that makes sense. That's Better than the launched one. So there's a limb coaster. Good stats on that. 
considering that the scenery is fairly minimalist, um, the ex there's some good excitement on these. It's like I know I, I rely quite um, heavily on scenery to give them a boost, but this is some good see good uh, good stats on these. Um, so I'm gonna guess the spinny one. So spinning wild mouse, the spinny one it is. What's the stats on this one? Nice decent stats, Egyptian themed. What we got here then? So we've got a flawless coaster. So this is, I'm going to say, it's either the fl flawless one or there's water. So maybe the watery one or the wet one. This, this is Jeff. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's, there's obviously, it's some sort of UK um, comedy thing where it's like, Jeff is like a funny name. I'm not sure where it comes from, but it is a thing. So it drops down. We've got a cobra roll, goes under the station, back around into a melman, and then back around little brick section. Are we running block bricks? No. Okay. Um, no, that's just normal bricks. Okay. So this one then. So this is going to be the inverted one or the the dangly one or the inverted one. 6.58. Some of these fences, now some people might not notice it, but I notice these things. See the... See, there's there's two different there's there's a tile here and then there's a tile there, but so some on this one it's there. Oh, hang on, that's wrong. Don't want to do that. And then on the other one it's back. Um, so sometimes that can be quite tricky. It just it catches the eye. So what have we got on this one? There's a lot going on on this coaster. So we've got a dive loop, and then into um what would that be a sidewinder perhaps and then into a so this one then it looks like a bat wing but it exits in the opposite direction so i believe that's called a bow tie um and then it comes back threads itself and then back to the station cool and then So is this the giggly one? Because we've seen that flash up, the giggly one. Of course, the giga coaster, giggly one. That makes sense. Right. Cool. So we've got some boosters. So we've got. It doesn't say that the that the the scenario has been passed. But as far as I can see, all the stats have been achieved on all the core stats. Cool. So what have we got around the outside then? We've got toilet. Not a lot. I was thinking, when I saw Mike's name, I was thinking there would be a lot more shops. Um, Mike has his own YouTube channel with an obscene amount of subscribers. Um, and he does like food based challenges. Like eating a certain type of food or a certain range of food every week. Okay, right. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to take a more in-depth look at the park and the coasters and, and everything else. 
and then I'm going to report back my findings. Okay, so I've had a good look around the park. This one, this one, the droppy one, has been broken down for ages. Um, there's tons of handymen in the park. We've got eight mechanics, which should be enough. The issue with 10 by 10 coasters is they can be quite tricky for pathing and for for the workers. So I would recommend zoning a worker in the exit queue lines, as, um, a handyman and a mechanic in each of the exit queue lines. I think I figured out why the scenario hasn't been passed and that's because the loopy one is still on test now i feel like i'm being set up here considering that they've all got funny names apart from jeff oh I've, i looked that up as well i thought it was some sort of uk based meme it's not i think it comes from the 21 jump street um remake movie or remake reboot movie um so i think that's where it comes from so i think i should probably open this up there you go so he has passed it. Okay. It's going to let me put a name in? No. I was going to put it in as Jeff. But it's not letting me put it in. Um, loan has been paid off. That's, that's something that sometimes people leave comments on the video saying, well, I could have paid off the loan considering I've got so much money in the bank. Um, there's a random banner just in the middle there um i was having to look another look at the coasters as well i haven't seen anything hidden away no secret interactions or i was looking for things like head choppers with paths and things like that and because i was earlier i remarked that i was um quite surprised by how good all the stats were um considering how minimalist the scenery is but it is just purely down to the the layouts of the track so you know they've they've all got a lot of uh, inversions and drops and they're all quite long coasters to be honest the twisters um so the twister the flawless the inverted coaster and the giga coaster as well they're all really really nice design coasters they look great going around the flying coaster as well they all look really really good um just the way there's like a nice balance of speed um my my main my only real critique would be that um it's purely the minimalist scenery i think um if the the scenery was as good as the coaster designs i think this would be a very very good contender but um i'm not the one judging so it's up to you how you how you see that um okay so i guess if this one's not is it working? These people have been stuck on that ride for ages. So I guess when I do the outro video, I'm going to have to get that one working so we can see the outro. Um, some more of those railings that are a bit off. Um, yeah, I do like the like the sidewinder and the corkscrew and and all that on there okay so at the end of the video then i'm going to put up a poll um so it's going to be one to five one would be the lowest five would be the highest so vote for the park as you see fit um i've been Stu. this has been an entry by mike jevons entry number eight of the tenacious tenements competition hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.